Just as her athletic career was flourishing, 15-year-old Beyonce Ross was diagnosed with a brain tumor, which caused her to become bedridden. She suffered from severe headaches and vomiting, and she became extremely weak and was unable to perform the simplest tasks. On Thursday last, she experienced a seizure and fell into an unconscious state. In the wee hours of Monday morning, the young lady passed away without regaining consciousness. Her mother, Yonet Clark, is struggling to stay strong. I lost my dad at 15 years, that's all I have to say. Heartfelt thank you to everyone who would have supported us, saying kind words to us, sir, in any way, in any form. The Guyana Police Force B Division, we want to say thank you to Tower Hotel, the managing and staff for accommodating us there. And thanks to Mr. Foster, thank you to Mr. John Adams and everyone else, all the doctors and the nurses. Thank you guys ever so much. Guyana's only neurologist attached to the Georgetown Public Hospital, Dr. Amarnod Duki, explained that Beyonce's condition was well advanced when the tumor was discovered. So, um, suspecting based on the clinical workup that we got when she was sent from Amsterdam is that she had a seizure, which could also have happened because the, the tumor was compressing areas that are highly ep epileptogenic. What that means is that area that can produce seizures. So a seizure could have led to that loss in the level of consciousness. And also, if you have changes in the brainstem function, then it's highly unlikely that that patient is going to be able to recover from the level of consciousness. Dr. Duki said Beyonce's prognosis was always poor. Due to the, due to the position and the size of the tumor, it was, a, it, was, it was a high risk. And as I said earlier, it was compressing the brainstem. At Georgetown Public Hospital Corporation, we we, uh, we were not capable of removing because of, of we were still in the initial stages of forming or, or of creating our neuro, neurosurgical capacity. So there's still a lot of uh, instruments that we need, and we are working and acquiring them. When a, a patient of such, it's 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 it's, it's a high risk to attempt it locally. Beyonce's family tried desperately to raise funds to seek overseas medical treatment. And after test results a few days ago showed that the tumor was non-cancerous, Yonet thought they had a little more time to save her only daughter's life. I had a lot of hopes that she was going to make it because I've known of persons who would have had similar cases and, you know, they made it through, but she had deteriorated rapidly. Beyonce was a student of the lower quarantine secondary school in Rose Hall. Last month, when Newsroom interviewed her, Beyonce said she was really trying to fight her illness. I don't go back to school. I want to feel good. Beyonce had won three gold medals at the National School Cycling Championships in October 2017. She made her family, her school, and her country proud. Davina Samaru. Newsroom.